So, I heard you like tier lists. Over the last four or five years, there has been a new genre of content that has swept the nation and the world. Not just this nation, the whole world. Tier lists. I've read the comments. Robert IDK. Do a YouTuber animator tier list. Do a Dr. Dre albums tier list. I don't know why you guys are asking for those two things, but uh, kind of different. But it appears as though there are some creators, some animation creators who specialize in this type of content. And we are going to check them out today because, guys, you keep mentioning it, and I'm curious, okay? Royal Paraploni E. I don't know. I do not know how to pronounce this one. We're going to look at some tier lists today. Nut tier list, vegetable tier list, childhood games tier list. The list goes on and on of tiers. The tier list goes on and on. So people strap in. We're in for a goofy adventure. Let's check out Royal Pear. W what do you got? For with 17 million views, homie's got a water tier list. I've never watched this man in, in my life, and I'm about to start. Water tier list. Oh. Tap water. F tier. If you drink water straight from the sink, you are a menace and could probably beat up Depends anyone where you that live. drinks Fiji water. I feel like people that drink Fiji water think they're better than everyone, so I'm gonna say screw them and also put okay. it in F. Like, wow. why pay $5 for a tiny water bottle, but you can pay $5 for five gallons? This water is A tier, and I swear the water from this specific fountain is the second most refreshing liquid that I've ever swallowed. With the first being your mom. The water from wow. your school's water <laughs> fountain. That's what I was going for. The water from here is so overpowered that our school was forced to implement a super cringe rule. One, two, three, save some for me. What? Hey, what are you? Ah, what? Water One, two, three, save some for me. Bruh. Encouraging your students to drink less water? I can't think of a dumber rule to enforce on the planet. I don't think it is possible to enforce a dumber rule than, hey guys, make sure you stop drinking water after three seconds. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. Okay, anyways, other parts of this review. Uh, your mom joke, uh, that is in the F tier for uh, jokes. Sonic 3 zone three music that is s tier that is an s tier track here we go here we go Okay, dude, you know that your water fountain in school is also tap water? <laughs> I don't know if homie knows that, but there's not a special filter for his school's tap water. That is also tap water. <laughs> but also, tap water, it totally depends on where you live. You know, we got homies in New York City who can drink their tap water all day because they put in 70 different carbon filters or whatever. I don't know if that's true. Don't look that up. And then you got homies in New Dork City who can't, they ain't got filters. I don't know what I'm saying. Basically, in, in certain places, places tap water would be uh f tier and there are places where it would be higher anyways that was a good video uh, i'm gonna give that one a i'm gonna give that one an a i had fun childhood games tier list let's find what are the best childhood games tier list yes hopscotch f tier this game is so mid and there's a better version of it so and that mid, is the dude. floor is lava this game is so fun that they actually made lava into a real thing <laughs> also i apologize to the boomers but i'm not going to include starting a fire or kicking a rock in this yeah now, there's no, two no, phrases no. that i never want to hear again for the rest of my life the first one is bro i was a dude the whole time and the second one is tag your it tag is a classic so i'm gonna give it a tier but it always sucked when that one kid got it and could never tag anyone and demanded to play hide and seek oh i might yikes. have been that one kid s tier one of my favorite games to play at recess time was four square if you don't know what this game is i'll briefly explain it there's a ball and four squares and actually i think i lied there is a game that i enjoyed more than four square Minecraft. and that is making phones in a chinese sweatshop well, why we got the jungle? Well, men have bang and go juke yeah. Would any other YouTuber learn Chinese for a joke in a YouTube short? No. Subscribe. Childhood games. You got me there. You got me there, mate. You got me there. All what? right. <laughs> that one was fully loaded. A. I'm, I'm giving that one an A before I give my explanation. Okay, the only thing that drops it down from an A. By the way, I don't I don't recognize S as a real thing. When I grade shorts, A is where we, where we cap it off. I give it an A, but my only asterisk here is saying something is so mid or extremely mid makes no sense. You know mid means average, right? So saying something is so mid. Mid. It's extremely mid. That's no different than saying it's mid. 
you know? <laughs> Mid implies right in the middle. That's a pet peeve of mine. If, if y'all want to know what one of my pet peeves is, is when people call things extremely mid or like so mid. F tier. This game is so mid. And then my only other gripe is the whole I was a dude the whole time. Little iffy on that one. I'm not going to suggest that I enjoy that joke. The rest of it, lit. <laughs> Suggesting boomers use rocks to make fire. Lit. Just like the fire. Yeah, hopscotch. I don't think that's mid. I think it's bad. Anything that's F tier shouldn't be considered mid because then you're def you're destroying what the word mid is supposed to mean. But hopscotch, yeah, I got over that at the about the age of six. Just run. You know, you don't have to confine yourself to this little piece of the blacktop. You can just run if you want. Also, can't believe they made lava a real thing. That was crazy. A, aside from questionable jokes, chair tier list from homeboy? Chair tier list. Metal folding chair. F tier. It somehow feels like this chair wasn't made for sitting, but instead as a weapon. Every yes. time I sit in it, it True. just hurts something I can't say about the recliner. This is the freest <laughs> S tier of my life. It's okay. super comfortable, and there's a reason they put these in movie theaters rather than whatever this Sometimes. is. I'm not gonna lie, I've never seen this in the wild, but it kind of seems fun, so I'll put it in A. If kids had these in school what? rather than a desk, this world would probably be a better place. Speaking of desks, they suck, and I imagine they suck even more for left-handed people. D tier. True. Now, usually I try to think of a way to transition to the next item smoothly, but I literally have nothing for this next one. The Game of Thrones chair. Why is this on the list? I'm gonna give it F tier because the last season ruined everything. And now we have a bunch of chairs wow, left over, sad. so I'm gonna rapid fire. Folding chair, A tier, great for camping. Gaming chair, also A tier, and it's the only reason I Ew, shot no, a classic no. restaurant bar chair. Easy F tier. Metal chairs just aren't comfortable. And finally, we have the greatest chair of all. Going in S tier is the beanbag. S tier is the beanbag. Does this guy know anything about back health? I think this guy's probably too young to have uh to know what back pain is. <laughs> so I think your uh, your tier list uh of, of chairs changes once you become a fully grown adult uh, with a spine that requires protection. Folding chairs. Okay, yeah, in terms of comfort, folding metal chairs, yes, that uh, we will say it's an F. But in terms of convenience, if you're trying to pack a venue with like a thousand seats, you're not gonna have a thousand gaming chairs. And if you did, that would be the cringiest auditorium setup I have ever seen. I gotta say, folding metal chairs, good for their purpose. But yeah, if I mean, if that's your thing at a desk, pretty wild. Gaming chairs, A tier, bro. Okay, we know this guy's a streamer. We know this guy's a streamer. Guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, you don't need to buy a $350 gaming chair. It is a very unnecessary purchase. Listen, if you got a gaming chair and you're happy with it, that's cool. You do your thing. But to me, those gaming chairs, guys, are like adult race car beds. That's what they are to me. I, you like what you like. That's cool. But gaming chairs are not A for me. For, for me, that's like a B. I'm gonna give this short a B because it's well made, but I disagree with almost every placement. All right, moving over to Lone E real quick. Let's check out the soda tier list. Of course, this kind of spoils it, but okay. Soda tier list. Pineapple Fanta. S tier. Bro, if you you never tried a pineapple fanta you gotta try it like it will change your life like ignore the nutritional that. facts and just drink it like it's so good bro it's worth the diabetes trust me man all right this dude's definitely giving me socks for one vibes pineapple fanta um we didn't have fanta in canada until i was like 13 so it was kind of too late for me maybe i'll give it a try sometime but yeah no i i can't do now that i'm an adult that like really cares about my health i don't like fake fruit flavored things anyways i'll keep it going. I'll keep it going. Coca-Cola. E tier. Bro, Coca-Cola is so mid. Like, so mid. Stop acting. In their life, bro. Like, if Coca-Cola is your favorite drink, you're just basic as hot. Nest tea. A tier. Bro, I'm telling you, cracking open bro. a Nest tea on a hot summer day, dude, it just hits different, bro. Okay. And it has way less sugar content in it, which will delay the need of those insulin. Needles. Way less. 43, 43 grams of sugar is way less. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. I don't know. Not sure about that. That one boss. Okay, Pepsi. Bro, you cannot tell me that Coke and Pepsi taste different. Like, they taste the same. Well, actually, Pepsi contains citric acid and Coke doesn't, which gives it a citrusy tang. Bro, Is that that's true? not what my taste buds say. Mountain Dew. Is that true? Tier. Bro, if you want to do a diabetes speedrun, this is the drink that will help you get that world record. Like, bro, that sugar content is insane. Bro, I just know your dentist is bro. swimming in money with your cavity-filled teeth, but that's the... 
soda to your lips. Bro, 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 bro. Okay, I just gave a summary of that video. Bro, 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 so mid. Bro, 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 bro. Okay, I like never drink soda, so I don't know why I went into that one thinking I would have further insight. But okay, I will, I will expand. When I am gonna drink an unhealthy drink, like a soda, I don't want my soda to be fruit flavored because at that point, I'll just have the fruit flavored thing, you know? It's like if I drink a Pepsi or a Coca-Cola, it doesn't taste like anything that is healthy, right? It tastes like the unhealthy thing. So it's just like, if I'm gonna drink a soda and have all that fake sugar, I want it to taste like fake sugar. I don't want to pretend it's something fruit flavored, you know? That's my personal, but hey, ma maybe I'll try, maybe I will try a pineapple Fanta at some point. You know what? 10,000 likes and I, I'll give it a try. It, is this legit? You let me know in the comments. He also said so mid. Guys, hey Zoomers, you can't invent terms and then use them incorrectly, okay? If you're gonna invent new slang terms, you know what I'm saying here? Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give that one a B for bro times 20. I think that's about how many times he said it. All right, based on those uh, astute observations, I'm not too excited about the vegetable tier list, but... <laughs> Let's give this one a go. Vegetable tier list. Carrots, S tier. Carrots just be busting for real, especially baby carrots. They got that satisfying crunch when you bite word, down on word. them. Like, I'll munch them up real quick, especially word. with some ranch sauce. But I prefer them in soup, especially because they become soft and taste much better. Garlic, okay. A tier. Now, eating garlic straight up by itself, that's wild. But when you add it to something like garlic bread, pasta, or a sauce, Ooh. dude, <laughs> heavenly. Especially garlic bread. Like, bro, I love garlic Crazy. bread so much. Crazy. The only problem is, it makes your bread stank after. So make sure you brush your teeth or take a mint after. Brussels sprouts, D tier. Dude, I think a majority of people just collectively hate Brussels sprouts. Like, they're so bitter, bro. The homie gets to the first, like, legitimately nutrient-dense vegetable and is like, Yo, what? D tier. Dude, why are you eating vegetables then? Why? <laughs> why is this dude even eating vegetables if as soon as he gets to the, like, legitimately healthy ones, he's like, no, nah, this one is whack. All right, I didn't expect this vegetable tier list to be based on taste, but here we are. But apparently it's based on genetics, and 30% of people don't taste the bitterness. Hey, personally, I don't wow, want that genie cool. the way. These some buns. Potatoes, S tier. Dude, potatoes are so damn good. Like mashed potatoes, baked potatoes, roasted potatoes, potatoes and curry, fries. Dude, potatoes are the LeBron of vegetables, and that's the... Vegetable tier list. They're the LeBron of vegetable. <laughs> All right, that works. That works, <laughs> I guess. All right, I'm gonna I'm give that one an A because it was, it was amused. I was very amused by it. However, the descriptions of these vegetables and why some were good and some were bad, ridiculous, ridiculous. First of all, is is garlic a vegetable? I'm pretty sure that's a, like, isn't that like an herb? Garlic is considered a vegetable. It belongs to the onion family. I didn't know onions had a family. No one do they cry so much? Of course, potatoes go in the S tier, even though again, they're like the least nutrient dense vegetable of all time. Carrots, that's that's good. That's good. Eat your carrots, homies. I am all for the promotion of eating carrots. But this Brussels sprout slander, homie, it's not all about the taste. If it's all about the taste, why are you even eating vegetables, okay? Why? But still, that one was funny. I'll give that one an A. Alright, one more from this dude. Fruit tier list. Let's go. Fruit tier list. Apples. A tier. You can't go wrong with apples. Whether you They're like good. sweet apples like Fuji on Honeycrisp or sour apples like Granny Smith. I don't. And I do you know not. what they say. Um, an apple a day keeps the doctor Oranges, S tier. Bro, if you don't like oranges, there's something wrong with you. They just be so juicy and sweet. And without oranges, there's no orange juice. Banana, True. B tier. Bananas are okay, you know, but I wouldn't go out of my way to eat like a bunch of them. Especially around the homies. Like, I'm not no glizzy oh gobbler, but banana bread be hidden. If you know, you know. Oh man, that, that last five seconds just aged me 20 years. I think, I think I'm 75 years old now. <laughs> Yo, don't eat bananas around the homies. Okay, I can't, al I can't allow that joke to slide either. Fam, I don't approve. I don't approve of that joke. Eat your bananas, okay? Potassium's very good. S tier. Bro, mangoes are just too good, man. Like, mangoes are just straight up candy grown from trees. Yeah, and fair. A, you can't go wrong with a mango Arizona tea. Watermelon. S tier. Do I even need to explain this? Nothing's better than a watermelon on a hot summer day. Ooh. Pomegranate. D tier. Ooh. Bro, pomegranate is straight. Ooh. 
Like, I'll still eat it, but I feel like I'm just eating wood. I'm about to spit out the seeds and use bullet seed on someone, but that's the fruits here. Clever. Very clever. Nice Pokemon reference at the end. Okay, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about the taste with this lad. Mangoes are good. And then he immediately he's like, yeah, you can't go wrong with a mango flavored Arizona iced tea that, ha that contains zero actual mango in it. The, the health part is important. Can I find a single? Is there someone in the comments? Please tell me I'm not insane here. The actual nutrients in the food kind of matters. And listen, hey, if you're like a, what's the new uh, generation? Y or something? What's the new generation? What is the new generation? Alpha. If you're an alpha, if you're a generation alpha, you're probably like, yeah, it's all about the taste. <laughs> And listen, if that's if that's the approach you take, hey, this millennial's gonna outlive you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna live longer than you if that's all you care about, okay? As long as you can accept that, then continue believing that the taste is the only thing that matters with fruits and vegetables. But hey, pomegranates at D, I can't disagree. I don't, I mean, I don't eat pomegranates. Pomegranate juice can be okay when it's added to things, but guys, you know what they say. Say no pomegranates! Cassie said that she has not seen no pomegranates. We've all seen no pomegranates, right? Okay, Cassie, let me just show you. No pomegranates! No, 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 no pomegranates! Oh, she's no. going through something. I don't want them anywhere near here. <gasps> Am I clear? Oh! Are you clear? You horrible children. <laughs> <laughs> Say the roll again. No pomegranate! Guys, three years later, and the tale still rings true. No pomegranate! I'm still about this. All right, I'll give that one a B for uh, bad opinions on fruits, but good video. By the way, people, if you're liking this so far, make sure you're subscribed to these animators because they did all the hard work on these videos. I'm just out here talking some crazy nonsense. We're just out here being goofy, so make sure you're subscribed to the original creators. And hey, if you're liking this video too, if you could subscribe to me, if you haven't yet, that would be cool too. All right, let's go back to our homie royal pair. Emoji tier list. Oh, here's one for the zoomers. Emoji tier list. The skull emoji has to be one of the best Pretty emojis good. out Pretty there. Pretty good. This laughing emoji, overrated. This laughing emoji, overrated. What? The skull is so good because it literally conveys the message, I'm dead. Because, like, skeletons are dead. D do you get it? The I definitely face. get it. I always it. found this emoji pretty funny. Apple clearly made it for people to use when they're cold, but instead they use it like this. Yeah! And real quick, what <laughs> is this? This is beyond Android emojis. Right, I like this that. is nightmare fuel. Now, one bad thing about emojis is because there are so many, there's bound to be a few that people just don't care about. Yeah. Like the olive. Does anyone yeah. even use this? I can't even see it on my computer. Nope. And now for the best emoji, and the only one you can use in any situation. The stone your face? mom tells you to clean your room? Mawai emoji. The yeah. IRS says they're gonna hunt you down? Boom. Mawai emoji. Your Boom. wife says she wants to leave you and move to the North Pole with someone else? Mawai. Emoji Boom. tier list. Got him. Moving to the North Pole with someone else. Yo, if your girl wants to leave you to move to the North Pole with someone else, fam, you dodged a bullet. You dodged a bullet. Yeah, have fun in the North Pole. I don't want to go to the North Pole. Yeah, have fun. Take his stinky gym shorts with you. What? What? <laughs> yeah, the Easter Island, the Squidward's house emoji is pretty lit. I like that. I like that that one's starting to get used. It's used a lot uh, when referring to my my boy Alex Pereira, UFC champion. Yeah, that, uh, that ice, that icy emoji, I don't think millennials have caught on to that one. I'll have to do my research. But bro, what about the pomegranate ab- Oh, wait, no pomegranate! Childhood snacks tier list. Childhood snacks tier list. Rice crispy Treats, easy S tier. I still eat these today. Rain Good pops, stuff. Pain to eat and makes you look like a maniac. This beer sugar. Twinkies. People actually eat these? I feel like people from other countries think Americans They're wake okay. up, eat three Twinkies, and then go to the firing range, but I've never seen anyone eat a Twinkie. Lunchables. Okay, this is weird because there's 
multiple Never had versions. One. Some are pretty good and some are bad, like the pizza one. But okay. most of them are all right, so I'll put them in B. Two tier okay. rolls. Does anyone actually like two tier rolls? I remember our school had a candy swap for Valentine's Day, and if you gave someone a two tier roll, that was basically the third pull out the version Draco. of saying F you. F tier. Kid cuisine slash frozen dinner. If your parents went out and you had a frozen dinner, you knew it was gonna be a W night. S tier. <laughs> Pop tarts. Right. Okay, this is showing strawberry, which isn't even the best flavor. I think that goes to wild berry. Cards, but I'll put no. It in. Side note: Did you know that there are creatures out there that eat their pop tarts raw? Like they don't toast them, but there's something even worse. There are people that willingly buy unfrosted uh, pop tarts. Uh, 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 Childhood uh, uh, snacks. Uh, 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 all right, all right, all right. I like the drama with that one. Listen, homies, 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 homies. I personally have some very strong feelings about pop tarts. And listen, before I get into this segment, don't anyone buy any extra pop tarts because of this bit. Until pop tart sponsors me, I don't want you guys to buy a single extra box of pop tarts. They need to sponsor me if they're gonna get that much hype. But let me tell you, when I was a child and I. I was an extremely picky eater, and it, this was very bad. I didn't eat my fruits or vegetables. It was very bad. Uh, I would eat Pop-Tarts for breakfast, and there was one flavor that stood out above all the rest, and I loved it. And then by the time I turned like 11 or 12, Canada stopped supplying it. No! And I went about 12 years of my life without ever having this Pop-Tart flavor again. I thought it was gone forever. I thought I'd never have it again until I moved to the United States, and all of a sudden, it was back. And now, homies, when it's time, I rejoin. Joyce with the wild berry flavor. <laughs> Wild berry pop tarts are absolutely my favorite flavor of all time. This is the flavor I grew up with. Legendary stuff, my favorite. They weren't in Canada when I lived there anymore. But I can get them in the States now, so that's cool. But guys, until Pop Tart sponsors me, don't buy any extra Pop Tarts. That's all I'm saying. Uh, that was a fun video. Let's give it an A. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, we're back on a lone E real quick. I'm seeing Halloween candy tier list, and I'm seeing Canadian Smarties. Is this for real? Is homie Canadian? Canadian? Wait, let's find this out. All right, I gotta find out. Halloween candy tier list. Halloween candy tier list. Kit Kat, S tier. Kit Kats are good, so goaded. Like, stuff. you can share them with your friends, or if you're big and greedy, just eat the whole thing. But don't eat it horizontally, bro. That's a crime. Starburst, crazy. -tier. Starbursts are delicious, especially the pink and red ones. But the red only problem is, sure. is that when you open one up sometimes, the paper stays on the Starburst and Ooh, you gotta eat a little uh, paper. Gross. D tier. Bro, I'm out here hustling on Halloween for some cavity creating treats, not a diet subscription. Sour Patch Kids and Fuzzy Peaches. Yo, S -tier. we had two seconds. We had two seconds of Banjo Kazooie music right there. I liked that. I liked that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, also, yes, in terms of Halloween candy, Apple is a D, absolutely. In terms of actual food, <laughs> Apple is better than all of these. Dude, these two are at the Shaq and Kobe of Halloween candy. Like, I munch these up too fast, like, deleted from my candy bag. Smarties, B tier. Smarties are okay. They're just a worse version of an M&M that's bigger and harder. Yo, oh, yo, yo, all the Americans watching are like, what are you talking about? How are Smarties anything like M&Ms? And homie, if you don't know, if you ain't got a by now that you just ain't getting it. I was in Canada recently visiting my family for the holidays and I brought back five packs of Canadian Smarties. If you ain't got it by now, you just ain't getting it. Oh my gosh, I ate all of them already. If I, wait, do I still have some? I don't think I do, but I'll check. Okay, I was gonna talk about Smarties and then uh, I didn't have any, but I do have something else actually. I have our good pal, Andy. I've got Andy. Homies, 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 homies. We have some new babies in the Robert Andy K family. I'm gonna show you all of them. This was kind of impromptu. Andy was just kind of around. I'm trying not to scare him because he's never been in this room before, but we have four new baby boys. And this is Andy. And yeah, how's it going, buddy? How's it going, baby boy? Look at how well behaved he is. He's doing so good. Okay, uh, I'll talk more about Smarties in just a moment, but I wanted to have this quick moment with my boy. You're a good boy, Mr. Andy. You're a good boy, Mr. Andy. Okay, let's go back. You're doing so good. Okay, let's go back. I'm going back in. Okay. Okay, sorry. That was really spontaneous. I was not planning on announcing my new boys, but uh, I've got new boys. Anyways, Smarties, the important things. Snack tier list. Muffins, S tier. Anyways, <laughs> Smarties. Yeah, I'm all out of Canadian Smarties because I ate them because they're all great. Yes, they're like M&Ms with a harder shell and they're slightly more hockey puck shape. Incredible. I think they might be better than M&Ms. The only thing is the coating kind of gets stuck in your teeth, which is a wacky feeling. But man, Smarties, crazy. 
crazy. They go crazy. Bruh. Oh, we're not even done. We're not done this video. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Warheads. Is that Canadian or, or do we have them in the States? Wisconsin. Okay, never mind. All right, all right. Y'all got warheads. Y'all got warheads. Here. Bro, the sourness of these Johns will have my <laughs> making the goofiest faces while fighting an actual war. Like, it's me 1v1ing the candy. Candy corn, D tier. Dude, I swear no one likes candy corn. That tastes like an eraser. If you like candy uh, corn, I might have to get a restraining order. Tootsie Roll, D tier. Why do people give these out? Tootsie Rolls suck. They're just a chewy poo stick that gets stuck in your teeth. And that's the Halloween candy tier list. Oh my gosh. All right, so we got two homies with the same opinions on Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, I don't really enjoy them. In fact, my teeth are stuck together just thinking about them. Candy corns, yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. I respect people who actually like candy corns. I don't agree with you, but I respect you. <laughs> I have no interest in candy corn. See, I'm at a point in my life where I don't eat any unhealthy food unless like I really, really want to. So anything that remotely doesn't taste great, I don't bother. Like I have not eaten a mediocre candy in probably at least six years. I think the last time I ate mediocre candy, oh, exactly six years ago. I love Mars bars. Okay, okay, sure. We do have these in Canada. Oh, you got Mars bars? Yes. In oh, okay. I love them. Eat that Mars bar. Oh, Ew. Yeah. Oh, so good. All right, next one is Smarties. There's the Smarties. Smarties. There they are. Oh my God. See, as a kid, I would grab all these and just shove them down my throat <laughs> all at Should once. No, do it. You're a kid now. No. Shove them all down your throat. Should I actually? Yeah, do it. Oh, dude, that's disgusting. Why'd you do that? That's not healthy. Mm. That is not healthy. All what? right. <laughs> All right, sick. We, we just tied together two bits. We just tied two bits together. Robert, you're killing this video. Thank you, Robert. I agree. I love it when two bits come together. School classes tier list. I want to see this. School classes tier list. Math class, C tier. Now, math class used to be fun back in like elementary school when it was simpler and I could actually understand it. But right when high school started and they added letters into the mix, that's when it all went downhill. Like whoever added letters to math, I have beef with them and we finna settle in the ring. Like, have you seen or done calculus? It's actual, what? English class, D tier. Dude, English class actually sucks ass. I can't. <laughs> I am overstimulated, dude. I am overstimulated by this short. This is ridiculous. Bro, bro. <laughs> All the sound effects and everything. This dude's making my editing look like Teletubbies. We're looking like Teletubbies over here. All, all I'm waiting for is a, oh my God. <laughs> all right. I respect math class being a C and not a D. Any homies who, who are down with the math, I respect you because I think math is cool and it's good for your brain. And I will have more to say once this is done. Like, all you do in that class is listen to your teacher yap about some short stories, poems, and Shakespeare. Word, and word. bro, writing essays actually suck, because most of the time you're assigned to read some boring book to write about that was written in the 1900s. Like, screw that. Let me write my essay on Diary Wimpy Kid instead. Gym class. Really? SGA. Now, come on. We all know gym class is the most goaded class. Like, it might as well be a free period, because you get to play sports with your friends and work out. All right, homie. All right. We get to see from this short if Lone E here was someone who got picked first in gym class or picked last in gym class. Me, personally, I love gym class. But there's a lot of people who gym is their absolute least favorite class. You know, there's people who are like physically challenged or people who get picked on in gym class or stuff like that. And it's like they dread that class. I personally loved it. And I, for the most part, agree with this dude on that. But I think also gym class is good for people who talk like, yo, it's the most go to class, bro. I can see why <laughs> I can see why he had an OK time in gym class. It's just an overall W for your mental health and physical health. Art class Fair. A tier. Now, art class is a fun class. Like, you get to express your creativity through painting, drawing, sculpting, which is great. And the class is usually very chill, which sets a nice vibe while you get creative. Unless you have a teacher who loses your work, then it's not chill. And that's the school class. Loses is your, your teacher lost your work? That seems like a pretty uncommon problem to have. All right, all right, fair, fair, fair. Yeah, gym was my favorite as well, uh, but also being smart is also cool. <laughs> math class, I gotta put math higher than that. I gotta put math higher than that because like, here's the thing, guys, here is the thing about math class that is great that nobody can take from you. Math is like the only class where there is one right answer and you can't have a 
jerk teacher tell you you're wrong when you're not? If the answer is one possible answer and everything else is wrong, if you study and you get it right, you can get 100. It's possible. Whereas if you're in English, social studies, whatever, and you have to like write answers to stuff, your teacher can just be like, eh, I don't give anything over an 80. And then they, they just screw you over and it's lame. But math, you have the power to be right. You have the power. And I respect that. So personally, I would put math in A tier. Not because it's super fun, but because it's like, it's an opportunity to actually be right and not have any teachers discriminate against you. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, that was fun. I'm having fun. I'll give that one a, I'll give that one a B because good short. I don't agree with all the ratings. All right, back to Royal uh, Dude. Chores tier list. Chores tier list. Doing the dishes. F tier, especially if your parents made like spaghetti or something. Taking out the trash. Oh, gross. Uh, yeah, I feel you. It can be bad, but it's usually over pretty fast. Mowing the lawn. Word. Honestly, I love Fun. mowing the lawn. Music. I have a big yard, so it's kind of relaxing because I just music. listen to music and go really fast. I woke up in a noble S tier. Taking down the okay. Christmas tree. Oh, S, negative F. I hate this so much. Taking down every ornament, disassembling every You do it once a year, bro. Attic. Dude, it ruins the Christmas spirit. Vacuuming. I'll put it in A. It's really easy and you can finish it fast. The only thing I don't like is when you have to empty it into the trash when you're done. Cleaning your room. I like cleaning okay. my room, but sometimes I just want to be a slob. Like, why do I have to make my bed if I'm going to sleep in it that exact same night? B tier. Finally, we have cleaning the bathroom, and I think everyone can agree this is easily F tier. Bro, making your bed takes all of, like, 10 seconds, boss. When people act like making your bed is a hard thing to do, I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? Doing in the middle of the night? Do you take your sheets and go? Ah! Ah! Like making your bed, you can do it in literally 20 seconds. Anyone who complains about making their bed, I don't know how you're able to watch a 20 plus minute video if you can't spend 20 seconds making your bed. That's all I'm saying. Mowing the lawn, did he put that in S tier? Because it's like mowing the lawn is only good if you have like noise isolating headphones. If you have some really good noise isolating headphones and you can listen to music, it's good. The only problem is, dude, you like you gotta wear lawn mowing shoes and it might still get on your socks. That's kind of gross. I'd say, you know, you can put it in an A, but S is a little crazy. Taking down the Christmas tree, bro, you do it once a year in exchange for what? Like 10 presents? Like, bro, worth it. Worth it. I got no complaints about that. I woke up in a new Bugatti. That was fun. I'll give it an A. I haven't done any of those things in, uh, what, like 15 years? Ooh, I want to see his vegetable tier list. Let's go. Vegetable tier list. Let's start out simple with broccoli. It's all right. There's definitely worse vegetables out there, though. Okay. I'll put this in A tier. But oh, as far as broccoli's you. albino cousin goes, I'm going to put cauliflower in C tier. I'm going to be honest. I think cauliflower Fair. tastes like Fair. the only thing saving it is cauliflower rice, which is pretty good for dieting. Speaking of dieting, Dieting, we have spinach. Twinkie started to become forgotten. Yeah, it happened again. Wait, wait, wait. Where are we? How are you what? doing this? How what? could I have possibly D taken us across YouTube and landed in, what is this, royal pear short? What in the... Well, that was weird. We have spinach, probably one of the healthiest foods on the planet. Now, I'm not gonna lie, as a kid, I did not like the taste of spinach. So what I learned is that I could just throw it in some eggs to hide the taste and Fair. get the full benefits. Fair. In fact, as a kid, I only liked two vegetables. One is potatoes. You know, that's a free S tier. Everyone likes potatoes. All right, and all two right. is corn. Corn is definitely a top tier fruit. I'm gonna put it in S tier. Did you just say fruit? Carrots, zucchinis, daikons, squashes, cucumbers, and eggplants. All of these vegetables are pretty good in the kitchen, but even better. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, that one was unhinged. That one was unhinged. Okay, Royal Pears vegetable opinions. That is that, that's better. That's what I wanted to hear. Guys, if we're gonna talk about vegetables, why are you rating them on taste? The only time that vegetable taste matters is like the taste to health benefits ratio. Like if something is pretty good for you, but it tastes absolutely horrible, then yeah, that's completely whack. But if something's really good for you and it can taste okay, that's a good vegetable. That's a good vegetable. Like he put broccoli in a tier? Bro, I don't like the taste of broccoli at all, but I will still have it because it's so good for you. Spinach? I agree. I throw spinach in my smoothies. You throw spinach in a smoothie. That just takes care of it, and then you get all the spinach benefits. Royal pear. Thank you. I mean, what what should I have expected? The dude has pear in his name, so I guess of course it's gonna be, he's gonna be down for some fruits and veg, you know what I'm saying? I like it. I like his opinions on this. That was good. That gets my vote. Woo! Uh, A. I'm gonna give that one an A. Meat tier 
list. Oh boy. Meat tier list. Man, I would love to put chicken in S tier, but there are times when I bite into chicken and it's drier than Queen Elizabeth. That's dog. not the I'm chicken put chicken fault. in A tier. Next up is pork, and honestly, I'm gonna put this in A tier as well. I'll also preface this by saying I think pretty much every what? meat is good. Actually, little detour, vegan meat is gonna go in F tier. This tastes <laughs> like it and it smells so oh, bad. No. One time I ordered an impossible whopper, it's just like a silly little joke, and I regretted it so much. Okay. It tasted like sawdust and grass. Okay, but back to pork, we got some solid options. You know, bacon is amazing. I will say though, if you can't eat pork, you're not really missing that much. If you cook Even though it's bacon a? or sausage correctly, it tastes pretty close to pork. And it's healthier too. I guess we should put turkey in A tier. But finally, okay. we have the best for last, beef. Easy S tier. Burgers just hit so hard, man. Almost as hard as my dad. What? Why? Where was this royal pair at the beginning of the video? <laughs> this one has a lot to, there's a lot to unpack here. And I ain't talking packing meat in packages. Putting chicken and pork both in A tier when you're saying like you're not missing much if you don't get pork. Like what? Here's how I think about it. Okay, the impossible meat joke, kind of funny. But if you are a vegan and you prefer to eat imitation meat for the sake of uh, animal welfare, that's cool too. That's cool too. I ain't going there. I ain't going there. I respect whatever choices you have. I personally am someone who eats meat. However, I am very conscious of animal welfare. And for example, I don't really like eating chicken wings because when you eat like 20 chicken wings, that's literally 10 chickens. And I'm like, do I deserve to eat 10 chickens right now? Probably not. Whereas beef, like one cow can make like 300 steaks, you know? And then pigs, it's like pigs are so intelligent. I kind of avoid pork for the most part now because it's like you only get so much and like pigs are a really intelligent and emotional creature. I don't know. It's like, I, yes, I still eat meat, but like I'm, I like, I'm cognizant of it. But in my opinion, one of the best things you can do if you do want to eat meat and get all the health benefits, but you want to be good for the world. I have hyped these up before. I'm going to hype them up again. Cage free eggs, homie. Pasture raised cage free eggs. A lot of people seem to think that when you're eating eggs, you're eating what was going to be a baby chicken, but you're mm. not. It's just the egg. This wasn't going to be a chicken. Chickens lay eggs every day for no reason. Okay. You can eat eggs and you're not harming something that was going to be an animal. There is such a thing as factory farming and there's chickens that are stored in awful conditions and that's bad and I don't like that, which is why you get cage free pasture raised eggs. Chickens that are raised humanely in an open field, they lay eggs, we get to eat them, the chickens are treated well. Amazing, amazing. And that's why I, li I literally eat like seven cage free eggs every single day because it's a way that you can get really healthy meat, but like you're not harming any animals and it's awesome. And guys, eggs are pretty cheap. If your grocery store has cage free eggs, please get them. Eggs do not cost much. For the most part, anyone who can get eggs can get cage free eggs. So please support the welfare of animals and the ethical treatment of animals. Even if you are someone who eats meat, you should still care because I I care that video. I'm gonna give it a uh, C for confusing But this channel good stuff royal pair. I'm down with you loon E you are pretty loony or loony rather <laughs> Loony you are pretty loony, but I'm down with you and I hope you vibed with that people Here are the two channels we looked at today if you like their videos go check them out Here's the last time we looked at Dano Cal drawings I think he's a friend of these guys So make sure you have checked out this video if you have not seen it more hilarious shorts awesome video Video. Here's a video that YouTube thinks you will like in particular. I will see you here or I will see you there. Peace out, people. Thank you for watching my stuff. Peace.